Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, if you're new, welcome to the family, guys. Grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink, do whatever you need to do to get comfortable, because Tash is gonna spill the tea. Straight, no chaser, no sugar coating bullshit. So, let's get this going, guys. Remember to put yourself where you belong. I could be saying he, it could be a she, I could be saying you, could be they, okay? So, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Oracles of the Highest White Light, I call you in and ask for a clear, precise channel message for my beautiful collective. What are we tapping into? Anything other than the Highest White Light, I close that door now. Please and thank you. And thank all of you for the likes, the comments, the subscriptions. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe as you're coming in. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when I post new content. Thank you guys for all the donations and especially thank you to all my clients. I love you guys. Let's get this going. What's the overall energy for this reading collective? What's going on? The Wheel of Fortune in the upright, baby. Yes, that's what we all want. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so there is some kind of um, new beginning. Some karma, some soulmate at the bottom. Ooh. Okay, so you're mirroring somebody here. We got the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, somebody's depressed. You're definitely mirroring somebody right now. One's in the upright, one's in reverse, and then you have the depression. Now, either you are both depressed, a lot of ego here that's causing some kind of confusion, but one's having an end of a cycle, one's focusing on the external world, and it's causing a lot of upheavals. You put yourself where you belong. You know your story best. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these cards and we're going to clarify and see what's going on after that, okay? Spirit guides, what's going on here for this? Because you are definitely mirroring somebody. There's an external force that's causing a lot of change, but it's unrequited change, unwelcome change. Okay, here with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune here in the upright with a lot of good luck and destiny and chance and faith and change and soulmates and okay so what's going on here yeah you have somebody being executed or wanted to execute you okay and now this is why their wheel of fortune is in reverse because of this execution of some kind let's see what's going on on this side spirit guides yeah you have royal living on this side you are not even paying attention to the external world you're like you know a farmer you know you hunt you go after what you want but you don't want the external world's validations. You live very, very uh, meagerly, okay? You, you, you live off the land. Somebody is getting a new beginning, guys, okay? You're getting a new beginning after some kind of execution. Now, this Wheel of Fortune is destiny, chance, faith, all the time. And even if there's some kind of delay and lack of control that's got somebody very discouraged because of this bad luck, there's still an ability to transform, to change that cycle, guys. We all can have the ability to change, to go somewhere different, to live on your own, to really take care of yourself, self-love, guys. We don't need the external world. And this is what somebody is seeing. After some kind of execution, after fall from grace or some kind of traumatic experience that they clearly did not want, Somebody became a wise person. Now they see that they have the blank slate. They have their own canvas. They can change this. But if they continuously focus on the external world, well, then it is what it is. Let's see what's going on on this side. Uh, yeah, you have the centric, okay? And then you have the law. So. What I'm getting from this intuitively is the 3D law has got somebody up in, a, in a, um, an executed kind of feeling. The 5D law, though, is on your side, okay? You're very much a hermit. You're like going into solitude. You see that somebody might have been, you know, somebody might have tried to murder you, tried to assassinate your character, tried to extort you in some kind of way, make you feel suicidal or... This is the kind of energy that's going on, guys, okay? And this is why somebody is living the fated life, you know, with Dharma, and somebody's living in karma with a lot of upheavals because of this. But this person with the fortune is living on their own, knowing the laws of physics, the laws of gravity, the laws of the universe, okay? The laws of what you put out, you get back. Somebody is learning something new. 
after this execution because somebody's an athlete so whoever tried to murder you didn't realize that you were untouchable I don't know but they're silly silly because it's the wrong thing to do you want to say anything else spirit guides about this wheel of fortune in reverse before we dig into the tarot how about the wheel of fortune in the upright okay yeah there's definitely a war going on here okay a definite war somebody is feeling very traumatic trauma a lot of trauma and somebody's a fucking warrior and does what they need to do now listen it's better to be a warrior in the garden than to be a gardener at war <laughs> somebody didn't realize this but whatever it is what it is anything else you want to say yeah there was a lot of abuse here somebody went into an abusive relationship or was in a re abusive relationship and then because you got out of it there was a war. Now somebody wanted to murder you, assassinate your character because of what they chose to do to you. Now this is why they're in reverse and you're in the upright because you're the motherfucking athlete, warrior, gladiator and you demolished the fucking shit because you knew somebody was trying to execute you but inevitably they're gonna be seen because you are the wisdom keeper. Somebody is very enlightened about who the fuck you are and that the law lays with you. You may have been judged wrongly but you just took the fuck off. You don't need to deal with this nonsense. You decided to go into hermit or hermitist. You became a mystic. And yo, someone's not very happy about this because their abuse is showing. You're a city dweller. Got the fuck out of here. You can get it right out the mud. So whatever somebody said about you was clearly false. You're the motherfucking warrior. And they abused you because they were insecure. You rebelled. Oh wow, I just seen the rebellious card. You rebelled against the brainwashing that somebody has tried to do on you. And now they're looking like a fucking fool and a big old hot mess because they're a fucking animal. They really loved and adored you, but because you chose to walk away after they couldn't abuse you anymore, this is what they chose to do. Oh my God, they're getting a new sl blank slate. So congratulations to them. They have a choice. They can change this because this is kind of sad. But then they can't get mad because this person's living the, like, the good life. You know what I mean? It's about peace. Somebody wants to make peace after this. Some Everybody needs to make peace with the motherfucking self, yo, and these childhood issues as to why they continuously kept abusing somebody who was a peacemaker. Somebody is com clearly coming to the realization of really what the fuck they chose to do. Yeah, somebody has the power. You have the power. Somebody had a near-death experience, and they're really going through it. They see that it's these childhood issues, something to do with their fucking bitch ass kind of a mother. Excuse my language, but it is what it is. Somebody thought they can have power over your wealth by doing this manipulation, this abuse, and this condescending shit to you. But really, the law, 5D law, resigns with you. This is why the Wheel of Fortune is in your favor, and this person is a big old fucking hot mess because of the brainwashing. Somebody tried to keep a lot in the fucking dark about some kind of secrets, and they were instructed. Maybe by a mother figure, we're going to find out with the, but there's that rebel card that I was telling you about. We're going to find out in the tarot in a few minutes, guys. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe, okay? Because it does, it helps to generate the, the algorithm on YouTube. Let's get these cards going. What's going on, spirit guides, with the yin yang? Okay, so, could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? earth sign that is like in the way of this wheel of fortune here for somebody to turn the wheel in their favor take it as it resonates but i feel this earth sign is going to some kind of judgment some kind of law because somebody is taking a leap of faith going in the new direction with freedom okay they're gonna have to really have those see the opportunities before them to really clear this karma they will have no choice but to have a near-death experience and have this peaceful resolution within themselves because somebody has lost power. They have abused their power and now the uh, position of authority has been taken and given to somebody else. It is what it is. Somebody is guided by their ancestors and assisted by the guides to take a new leap of faith in the right direction because somebody is full of vanity and pride and ego and this is like just not going to happen. And This is why somebody was extremely abusive thought they they were instructed to be abusive towards somebody who clearly does not deserve this you do not deserve this guys you're having um an integration of some kind of union 
here on this upright, okay? You were very much judged wrongly, and that card just went all the way across my room, and it's that third parties. You were judged wrongly by third parties, and your ancestors are guiding you, gui guided you to move away from all the trauma. Make sure that you were doing this like, you know, doing you, because you had the power inside of you. You just had to see the, the abuse continuously going on and how you had to get out of it it's a choice guys now you have the wheel of fortune in your favor because you have the power you see through all the illusions and people's immaturity but these external world this third party are going to continuously keep saying what they got to say because they're in their ego they're fucking arrogant and they definitely don't want you to be happy so don't tell them that you're in a relationship don't tell your family nothing because at the end of the day, you need to have courage to go in this new beginning and let go of this darkness of what this other person is going through. Because they got a new journey. It's not your business. This person either needs to get their fucking balls and go on a new journey or you have clearly left and went on a new journey because of that freedom, that free will. And these third parties are never going to shut their mouth. But it's divine timing that somebody really healed these childhood issues and shut someone's mouth. Fuck, for fuck's sake, it's time. Somebody wants to celebrate with this Wheel of Fortune. And you are going to celebrate. And it's going to be with healthy people. People who love you. People who support you and adore you. Show me. Yeah. Because you're going towards your North Node. And in that North Node, there is an uh, emerging, a coming together, whether this is Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine internally, or whether that's externally. You tell me, but you know that there's external world trying to stop you with this, you know, word magic manipulation shit. But look, they can't be self-love. And your creations are inevitably going to come to fruition. So continuously keep manifesting heart of the death because somebody's fears and limitations have put them in the situation that they're in. And the only person that can save them is themselves. And if they continuously keep looking for the external world's validations, well, guess what? They're going to continuously forever stay stuck in the shadows of whomever, whatever that they're catering to. Let's get the hidden truth, guys. Spirit guides, what's the hidden truth? I love you. Okay, so this person loves you. They want to make a change, but... They feel like they're not good enough because that's what everybody always told them. They were never good enough. I play our conversations over and over. So if they play their conver your conversations over and over, they know you're extremely intelligent. And they better start using that information to get them somewhere. It says, I look for you everywhere. Somebody looks for you everywhere. And I mean everywhere. They really wish. But you don't go out. You're in royal living. You don't want to be. It. You're, you're not entertaining with any of this. You're the peacemaker. You make peace with yourself. And the last one, it says, I know I was a distraction to your pain, okay? This is probably why you chose to self-love. Somebody regrets lying to you because they know that's when you ended the cycle. You don't deal with liars. Let's get into these tarot, okay, guys? And let's see how much minutes I have left on this. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay. So, Carol, let's see what's going on here, okay? And give us some more information about this. Because clearly somebody has really tried to execute you. You went into hermit mode. You've seen that. Clearly you need to go into your south no uh, north node. And because you were doing that and stepping into your sun energy, you made the change and you trusted. You trusted that the law was going to balance itself out. And somebody was going to get a clear sleep, but the power lied with you. And somebody tried to abuse you, tried to manipulate you, and clearly now wants to celebrate with you. But there's a lot of ego here. Somebody needs assistance from their ancestors, but are they listening properly? Properly, the sun. Okay, somebody loves you. Somebody wants to make a change to come towards you. It says, life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking. I'm an inspirational success, okay? So somebody loves you, God, creator, source, whoever you believe in loves you. And look, it's time to take a leap of faith, guys. It is really time to take the leap of faith. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. What, does, uh, what gives you joy, guys? It's time to see what gives you joy. What brings you this sun kind of energy? Show me. It's 
the Ten of Ariels, guys. There's that legacy. And then you have the Page of Pentacles. The, I mean, the Page of Cups. Okay, so somebody is definitely coming in. Whether you know this person or not, they see you as a muse. A lot of people see you as a muse. And you are the Ten of Pentacles. This is why you held on. You don't feed or give your energy to anybody freely. Not like that. You just want people to grow. You celebrate the abundance that holds internally. So you don't really need much from the external world. You get everything through self-love. And this is what that third party did not understand. That you are a true alchemist. So you can transmute all this fat, this facade and fake fucking trash, fake news. And transmute it into darkness and really build an empire on this. This is why God, Creator, Ra, whoever you believe in, believes in you. And you're the silly city dweller. You can really get it out the mud. You know what it is to have this be a shop owner, to to work, to you know, to do what you need to do day in and day out. Not just externally, but internally, in order to get the rewards externally. Ten of Pentacles, the legacy, guys, says there is very much to be grateful for. Financial successes and uh, promise of retirement. A rich and rewarding financial, um, rewarding family life. Now, this is what a lot of people have tried to stop. They didn't want this person to have it. Clearly, didn't want you to have it. And somebody is probably living a, a family life, but is blocking you somewhere and doesn't want you to be happy. Whether this is a mother, a father, a friend, uh, whatever. They're in a full-blown relationship and they don't want you to be happy. But they're conniving, they're into ego, and they're investigating a lot of shit. But at the end of the day, they're miserable. They still got issues with themselves, and they're mad because you have the power, you have the legacy. And you have somebody coming in, a new emotional situation, message regarding relationships and uh, invitations. Great uh, intuitive insight. Look, great intuitive insight. That's the divine guidance, guys, heart of the deck. The search of meaning of life, considering an alternate approach. And surrounding yourself with wise teachers. And here at the bottom of the deck you have the Ace of Michaels. That's the truth guys. Everything that I said is nothing but the truth. It's time to get the clarity. A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. Okay? Somebody loves you. Somebody wants to communicate and tell the truth. Be honest about a situation. Because it's, a, it's divine timing guys. It's divine timing. It says the search of meaning of life, guys. Let's take that. This one, look, the Ten of Michaels. Now, there's a lot of betrayal, a lot of abandonment, a lot of heartbreak. But it says a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities and happiness will not fill you. Put the past behind you. You have the divine guidance, okay? Put the past behind you move on and search for a new meaning in life, okay? New people. What do I got? Let's get the juice, guys. Let's get the juice. Spirit guides, what's the juice for this reading? Okay, what's the juice? Thank you. So, third parties. There they are. Somebody's looking at your dirty photos and they're seeing how you grew up. How you have grew from a situation. Okay? And, uh, yeah. You ain't playing no games. You don't deal with third party interferences. And that's why you're getting the victory. Because you grew from these third party interferences. And some somebody's fucking bored. They're bored of their life and they need to do some healing in order to bring this peace to this abusive relationship in order to be happy. I don't fucking make it up, guys. It's up to you. You have the choice. This is the truth. We all have the choice. We all have that clear canvas and we all have to take responsibility for our actions whether we like it or not. You, somebody, you are getting the, you're getting the victory because these third parties are all up in their feelings because of your pure heart. And what's meant to be is going to be, guys. It is what it is. So, it's time to clear out the chapters, see it for what it is, and somebody really does see you as legacy. But they tried to manipulate instead of fucking doing the work, they wanted to slack and they want to cause and do magic and and gaslight and do all this stupid shit in order to go forward in life. These third parties, they didn't really want to do the work. And you're sitting here actually helping people. And these organizations are all on the DL. They're not fucking, they're not real. They're, it's, it's like a facade, a fagazi. A fa it's a facade, guys. It's all ego. 
In your face, they're one way. In your back, it's another. Serious leader, all fucking talking and gossiping, and they don't even know their asshole from their fucking mouth. That's justice. There's major justice to this karmic-ass fucking shit because you're the real muse. And a lot of people are fucking using you and making money off you, and you're the one here really helping people while they're fucking slacking and manipulating and doing all kinds of energy work because of their fucking vanity. Show me more spirit. Yeah, look, the black magic fucking backfired. You're the real magician. You're the alchemist. You can transmute this darkness, turn it into light, because you're the earth angel. Look, you have the heart to uplift those around you like an earth angel. You were born to shine, and you're going to get a higher level commitment, or you're a public teacher. So what you say is bond, guys, and your payoff is coming. So keep pushing forward. Remember, trust is everything. If you can't trust the person, then you're never going to be with them. It is what it is. Somebody needs to gain your trust. And move towards their north node. Towards their purpose. Everybody's got a purpose, guys. You gotta go towards it. Your purpose isn't being a douchebag, calling down people. No, it's being a star, okay? You gotta be the fucking healer of your own life. Aquarius Empress. Yo, I don't make it up. These people are fucking hating on you and they're trying to put you on the ground. But they're all doing it because they're jealous because of your real fucking standards and because you're on a life purpose. Could be Aquarius. Take it as it resonates, guys. I love yous. I hope this resonated. Okay, let's get some ruins. And then I'm going to... Okay, so here. We have toughness, stability. Okay, so they're upset with your toughness, with your stability. The fact that you can get it out the mud, that you have the sun and good fortune in your favor. Look, they're almost the same thing, right? But... Look, it's right here. Sun and good fortune and stability. See? And then you have this one. And that is hail destruction and creative forces. You destructed and dismantled. And now you're bringing in this a beautiful creative force because you are the earth angel. Your payoff is coming because you're on, really on your life purpose. These people can say whatever they want, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. You got that sort of truth. Archangel Michael is always going to protect you. And you are the real muse. See? Strength. The strength in the Aleister Crowley deck is lust. You have the strength to use that sword to speak your truth and see the perception, perceptive, okay? Use that perspective to really change, vibrate higher, and really transmute the darkness into light, okay? King of Cups, somebody loves you, and they love your, they love your strength, okay? So, what's on... And they see that a lot of people are envious. They're pitiful. And this is why they've tried to do this to you. One more card, please. Okay, we got two. Look, it's the world. This is why. The world is there and you have ended cycles. Nine of swords, you rest easy. The nine of swords is in reverse. Oh no, it's the six of swords. Yeah, it's the six of swords and it's in reverse. Somebody doesn't want you to move away to calmer waters. They want you to stay in this nonsense. But you have ended the cycles. It is what it is, guys. The heart of this deck it's the devil, and it's in reverse. You have claimed back your power. You are no longer codependent. See? This Prince of Wands, it's a tyrant kind of bully energy that is still up in your energy, and they're really mad that you're sitting here in your north node. Put your feet up. You know, these third parties, they're full of gossip and rumors, and they're just, they ain't got shit. They're stuck in their ego while you're sitting here looking pretty in this Empress energy. Look, I don't make it up. You're the fucking star. And you end the motherfucking cycles. I love you guys. Stay blessed. One love and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.